legacy cube dropped with Simon here. So, um, some good cards here. I kind of like Animate Dead because uh, Reanimator is a, is a cube deck that doesn't lose much from Vintage Cube. You uh, still haven't to reanimate uh, Yasuin's Prodigy, Lilian of the Veil, and all those cards. I don't see anything else that's great here. The swords is a little better, but that's one of the weaker swords. Eternal Witness is nice. I think Mono Green is good too. Um, but I think that the uh, Animate Dead is the more powerful card. I mean, Eternal Witness is good in Mono Green, but it's not even that great. It's not even clear it's better than Sylvan Library. So I might will Sun Titan. That's a nice card to reanimate. Sometimes you can end up reanimate that and have Animate Dead in your grave, and then you can get it back. But I like Animate Dead. And this is a card I haven't seen before. Yeah, it seems weak. It's a natural order, but you have to survive. It has to survive the turn. So we got the uh, Shark Typhoon, a solid card. And the problem with Sky Sovereign is that you can't reanimate it, otherwise, it would be interesting. Treasure Map is fine. I kind of like Toxic Deluge. It kills small creatures and have your big creatures survive. So if you can animate that something medium sized, you can cost it for value. There's also Metamorph, which is more safe, I guess. But I think I like Toxic Deluge. It's a, it's a solid card. It's really insane against Mono Green decks. Okay, we got some cards here. So Reanimator is mostly going to be blue, black. It can be red, black too, with Fatal's Looting. Then you can maybe play Bedlam Reveler. This isn't the worst card to reanimate. You still get to draw free cards. You can sometimes hard cost it too. So Agadim's Awakening seems fine. You can. Uh, problem is you can only reanimate small creatures. So what cards do you even have? Murmuring Mystic is solid. I could take Bedlam Rebel and maybe go Red Black Reanimator. That seems interesting. I'm not giving up much. Gatekeeper is weak. Uh, if it, if your opponent had to sacrifice when it came into play rather than cost with kicker, it would be better. I'm gonna take Bedlam Reveler, maybe go Red Black Reanimator. Speaking of Reanimator, Prismaric Command is kind of good, but then I would have to go three colors. I haven't seen any fixing yet. Glass Pool Mimic is a land I like way more than uh, Agadim's Awakening because it's uh, just a much better card to cost for value. So I think it's between Glass Pool Mimic and Prismaric Command. Bloodline Keeper is fine, but it's a little slow again. And. Uh, Prismar Command, if I were Grixis Reanimator, it would be good. I think I'm going to take Glass Pool Mimic, though. I don't think Free Colors is necessarily where I want to be. Okay, Blood Ghost is a good combo with Recurring Nightmare, I guess. Pair of Recruit is interesting. You can get sometimes uh, like a uh, Putrid Imp, but it's slow. Track Desk is good to reanimate, actually. Huh, this is interesting. Yeah. I think I'm gonna take Drag Tusk, it's a solid reanimation target and uh, it uh, it's a splashable card, you can maybe play like a Bayou or Taiga or Tropical Island to get it. Okay, I don't want Wasteland, this is not the kind of deck that wants Wasteland, I don't think. And Bolas is still that I don't have, there is no Tinker in this queue, which makes it worse. Also Cruise, but we have no Strip Mine, so. This seems like a fine card, it's a uh, Doom Blade, but if you, uh, something is dying, you can get two creatures from it. I don't think Bolas Siddle is good, I mean, there is Dark Ritual and things like that, but I think we'll take Malicious Fiction. Okay. Uh, we got Siege Gang, a good card to reanimate, I guess. Stone Call, not a good card to reanimate. <laughs> but the rest seems like a good card in Legacy Cube. It's not as good as in Vintage Cube. There's more creatures, but still, it's gonna be solid, I think. Yeah, we're definitely black. Don't know what else we're gonna be. Ooh, okay. Polucronus is interesting. Maybe I could be green, black reanimator. <laughs> But there is Nighthawk Scavenger. I like this card way more in this cube than in Vintage Cube. This is a more creature-centric deck. It 
is great against the red burn deck and also the other aggro deck. So I'm gonna take it. It's a fine card to reanimate. Maybe I can get unearthed too. Lagnar Tark is a beast to reanimate, but yeah. This also keeps me open. Ooh, Shivacabra. Not a bad card to either hard cost or reanimate. We haven't seen any reanimate cards. So I think don't think I'm gonna take Santa item. And oh this card is sweet. This card is also sweet, and I do have a reasonable amount of creatures, but not that many. I'm gonna take Immortal Sun, seems like a fine card. Oh, Agonim's Awakening, nice land here. And uh, I guess this card could be interesting if I were to get Recurring Nightmare or it's also you can cast like Reanimate and Tomb, stuff like that. So. Putting some of these cards in my cyber now, I don't know. Right now I'm definitely black, probably blue because this is the best pairing for this kind of deck. But I could also be green, uh, black green or black red. I haven't seen any fixing in Grixis, so probably not gonna be um, three colors, but you never know. Okay, we got Bayou, which is interesting. We got some Burial Rites, which is very interesting too. Fable Passage is good fixing. The Cartola I kind of don't need, because I already have Chupacabra and Malicious Affliction, I guess. Mm, so Bayou would help me with the uh, Frag Task, so I could now just splash it and hard cast it. And Burial Rites is currently not great. I would then need some white fixing or gifts I'm given, I guess. Bayou also means that if I get like a uh, Misty Rainforest, suddenly I have a fixing for blue black. I think I'm gonna take Bayou, I think it's the most unique card. And uh, a card like Amber Rides might wheel anyway, so Bayou means the Drag Tusk is back on the menu. Speaking of which, now I have Underground Sea and Recurring Nightmare. I think those are the two options. So, Recurring Nightmare is great with Blood Ghost, it's just a great combo. Underground Sea is great fixing. I still don't have to be blue, but... I think I'm gonna take Recurring Nightmare, it's just such a good card. And you can loop Chupacabra, sometimes you get... You don't even have to get something good back, just the fact that you get to destroy a creature every other turn, it's great. And uh, now Blood Ghost is back in. <laughs> what is oh yeah it's mirror mage that card seems kind of weak i do like frost titan and gaunt though i think gaunt is better it is better to hard cost it is better to reanimate frost titan but gaunt is a much better hard costed card and you still get a lot of value when you reanimate it also i only have like animated and recurring nightmare so the theme of reanimate is not super strong if i had like and Tomb Reanimate, then maybe I could start thinking about Frost Titan or World Coil, but yeah, I think Gaunt is good. And now we get some good cards. We have <laughs> All is Dust. You could never tell that this was All is Dust. <laughs> so confusing. I have him, great card. Shard, of course, works nice. Tasker, I think, is a little weaker than the other things. If I were to be... Um, Black, red, crocs would be interesting. But I think Hume is just too good. And we're definitely very heavy black. We could be almost be mono black. But we will probably splash for strike task. So I think I'll take Hume. That also means I don't necessarily have, ooh, have to be blue. Ooh, Liliana. Awesome. Yeah, that's one of the main reasons to be in reanimator is Liliana. It's just the plus one means you get a good reanimation target in your graveyard and your opponent also has to discard a card so it's almost card advantage in some way and Merfolk Looter, Yorion, Drenched Hermit <laughs> Drenched Hermit is nice with Immortal Sun because all your creatures gets plus one plus one so now I have to decide I could take Merfolk Looter which is a fine card and then be blue black splashing green or I can just take um, 
Hermit and go more all in on the uh, reanimator plan. Hermit is great with recurring nightmare, I guess. And Mirror Cutter is very, very slow. Looter is very slow. Owner's Prowler too. Yeah, I'm gonna take the ranged Hermit and maybe be green black reanimator. Okay, speaking of green black. Yeah, this is slow. It's fine, but it's very slow. Rex Sage, though, it just seems great. I mean, just killing stuff seems awesome. Then, how about I'm just gonna be green black reanimator? Mm, now there's Whirler Rogue, Dark Slick Shores. Arena is fine, but slow. Hmm. Yeah. I think Arena is too weak. I'm gonna take Dark Stick Shores just in case. Necrotal. Baral seems not great in this deck. What does it even do? Yeah, it does basically nothing, I guess. Necrotal could be good. Ooh, Wall of Blossoms or Midnight Reaper. They're both good. But Wall of Blossoms works good with recurring nightmare, I guess. Assassin's Trophy is okay. Don't like it that much, but it's okay. Ooh, freebooter, not bad. So I would like some more cards that put cards in my grave. Right? Like Entomb would be great. I'm kind of moving away from the blue train now, but I'm gonna put Academy's Awakening as a land because it's mostly gonna be a land. So I have 19 cards. Una's Prowl or not? Terrible. Okay, let's see. Alright, Living Death. That's interesting. Brainstorm. <laughs> also, Pack Rat. Treachery, I'm kind of moved away from now. Living Death seems sweet though. That would mean that Una's Prowler. The problem with Ona's Prowler Living Death is that the opponent also can do that. Packrat, Nissa. I think Living Death is interesting. I'm gonna take it. And uh, I think Overgone Tomb is clearly the pick here. Doomblade is kind of not necessary when you have Necrotal and Chupacabra and Malicious. But my mana situation is a little rough with the. Uh, Affliction, blood gas, I don't want to cost a wall. So, tomb is good. Don't think I've ever been black green in vintage cube, but here we go. Valky, huh? Valky is interesting. For this card to be good, I need a red source though, and I don't have one. There's also Sundering Titan, which is a great card to reanimate. <laughs> Fateless loot, the art. Pod, uh, Pod is almost good enough. There's also Ooze, which is great with Living Death. Because you can remove your opponent's graveyard. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna take Sundering Titan just to have a super good reanimation target. Mm-hmm. Whip of Erebus is fine. Copter also. Copter does not get cured by wall, but gets cured by Bloodgast, Freebooter. Yeah, I think this is a Copter. I think cheaper is good. Whip is very slow. And I need language less when I have Toxic Deluge. So yeah, I think a Copter is nice here. <laughs> Another uh, land. This one is weaker, I think. It's fine, but I don't think I'm ever hard causing that. So it's Damnation, Trashing Bronton. I think Trashing Bronton is kind of weak. I don't think I need it. Whereas Damnation is interesting. I'm going to take Damnation. It's. I would like some more ways to get card advantage right now. I only have him, 
Maybe this. Huh. Tosky, huh? Dem Protector, Blooming Marsh. This Cavalier is a little weak, I think. Hydroid Crisis is interesting though. Also Tosky. Tosky Hermit. <laughs> Tosky also survives damnation. It doesn't survive living death. Natural order is not good here. I think I'm gonna take Tosky and try it. I don't know if it's good, but it seems sweet. Collect the brutality, murderous rider. Yeah, collect the brutality seems fun. And uh, Kalitas Living Death. Also Knight's Whisper though. I'm gonna take Knight's Whisper. And I need to cut some cards. Let's cut. Maybe Necrotal is not necessary. Maybe Assassin's Trophy is a little weak. Don't play in blue anymore. Damnation is not necessary either, but it is a nice combo with Tusk. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, Blood Crypt. Maybe I get Valky. Packrat is. Cool, but I don't know. Okay, take Doomblade, I guess. Not playing it though. I guess I could play 16 lands with um, so many ships, but. And this deck kind of caps out at 6. I like this also because I have no. Uh, Planes works on my own. Oops. Sure. And a whip. Ooh. So not bad cards. But... Yes, I kind of don't need Toxic Deluge when I have Damnation and Living Death, so I think putting in Ooze seems better, and I can sideboard in Toxic Deluge. <laughs> so I need to Cut a card. Maybe I cut a forest. I think 16 lands. This is a land. Alright, let's play. Okay, we're here for round number one. I think this hand is okay. It has potential with Liliana discarding Sundering Titan and Freebooter can take a look. Take a look, see, my opponent is on mono green, so I'm probably gonna board in Toxic Deluge. Um, yeah, and Living Death should be great here. Kaiser Freebooter, maybe not so much. Okay, so my opponent is on good start with the Soldering, basically. <laughs> It's possible I shouldn't even play Bloodcast in this deck because I don't need it. Okay, now change of plans. I'm gonna go Copter and crew it next turn. Against Mono Green, you usually don't even hit that hard with Freebooter, so I don't need to um, rush it out. Though, of course, if this is Nissa, then uh, I'm gonna regret it. That's questing this, it doesn't matter then. Would like to get a Trag Tusk into play against Questing Beast. Okay, so I think I like Freebooter. Still, my opponent could have something like Natural Order or whatever. Okay, so Beast Within, Champion Witch, Third for Ascanta. Uh, I don't really care about Beast Within, but I'm still gonna take it because Search is slow and can't be cast here. So, take Beast Within. And. Uh, I'm 
Might as well get rid of blood cost because it's coming into play for free. And uh, but sadly, Gonti can't block questing beasts. So see here, opponent has champion with search for a count and one unknown. My opponent foretold the card, which. Probably isn't a green card. That's probably Ardens Epiphanies or so it come. I don't think Soros Pack made it in the queue, but I could be wrong. Okay. Um, okay, that's also interesting. Now, I think. Start by crewing. And look for a reanimation spell. I don't have that many. I could attack with Blood Ghost, but if I don't hit the land, it's just a suicide attack. Okay, that's not terrible. It's bad, not great. I think I discard um, Summoning Titan, I don't know. So Liliana doesn't do much, but it could combine next turn with Nighthawk Scavenger, and I have some turns, maybe. So this could grow if Liliana gets some cards. And then maybe I can trade for Questing Beast. Going to seven. All right, that's not great, but it is a nice combo with Nighthawk Scavenger, I guess. Let's start by crewing that. And I'm not attacking with Nighthawk Scavenger here because I think that Hume's gonna make it be able to block. So ideally, I draw a land here. Don't think attacking with. Freebird is. It holds some of my opponent's stuff there. Okay, land is nice. So now I think I discard. My plan is to go Oz and Hym. So I think that I'm gonna discard Hermit. Maybe. Yeah, I think so. Because it's easy for me to hard cost track us because I don't, I don't have double green here. Okay, let's start by humaning. I think I'm getting two car types here to make this a free free, but so my opponent got champion and him. Champion is far away from being uh, eternalized. And then then ooze, which <sighs> doesn't do much, but it's a creature on the board and Okay, so this is now a free free, so I can trade for questing beast. Okay, this I can't get blue though, which is nice, because it's only basic forest, and it flips on seven lands, so that wasn't the worst for me. So my opponent's hand is unknown. Okay, I'm gonna trade for questing beast and take hanging back. Uh, walker's damage. I stay on seven life and get rid of the questing beast. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. So the problem with animate adding sundering titan is that right now it blows up one of each of our lands and it doesn't do much. I could also get back champion draw two. Or actually I only draw one if I do that. I could also get back Questing Beast, but what does that even do? How about I just start by... Uh, actually, let's do it like this. I can attack with everything here. I'm uh, If I draw a land and track, that just super stabilizes the board. And if I don't draw a land, I can discard track task and get it into play. So. 
Okay. What I'm going to do is actually... Huh. I feel like discarding tractors and getting it back is kind of a waste. I could just hard cost it instead. How about I discard Liliana? It seems kind of not necessary right now. And now... Okay, that's interesting. I guess I don't cast track task then, I just get rid of champion. And then I hard and cast gaunt instead. And then who survives? I don't think the attack with hanging back was great for my opponent. Can I go to six against mono green? My opponent can't cast Crater Hoof and I'm probably dead to Crater Hoof anyway. I could also animate dead like Nissa. It's not terrible. Though I could animate that quest in this next turn and just win. Okay, I can go to six. It's fine. I'm gonna go ahead and take treachery. And I'm probably blocking hanger. No, I will see. We'll see. One can't hard cost R into Epiphany because it needs double blue. Oh, okay. That's fine. So let's see. If I animate that questing base, it's a 3 4. I'm gonna start by casting treachery on something. It's not clear what I treachery. I think my opponent is dead. Unless my opponent has days. Let's see. Let's take that. Animated questing beast. Crude copter. And attack with everything. And I didn't expect to win this way. <laughs> I expected to win by grinding my opponent out, but not attacking for damage. Oh well. My opponent got stuck on blue. So, uh Reclamation Sage is good, it gets a Skanta and it gets Treachery. I kind of like Toxic Deluge though, and I think Toski might be kind of bad. It doesn't seem like I'm going to be able to attack through for much. Necrotal is also fine, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, this seems fine. Maybe whip could be also fine. Okay, this hand is not the greatest, but I think it's keepable. It turn to him goes a long way. And uh, Chupacabra can eat something, and I can maybe even get it back. With Agadim's Awakening, which I'm not gonna cast. Okay, well. We have a lot of answers with this hand. I don't want to see search for a scan to here, that would be bad. Okay, that's also a little annoying because it, when I cause a damnation, my opponent's gonna get some stuff. Okay, I could brutality that before it gets out of hand and then look at my opponent's hand. Or I could just human. Yeah, I think I like human. Okay, I got two lands. I don't know if that's good or bad. <laughs> nah, probably bad. Foretold card, so it's probably saw it coming or... Um... What's it called? The uh, Ardent's Epiphany. So... 
my plan is to like probably ship a car by the walker and then damnation await it. The leftovers. But yeah. Like attacking here, I mean, yeah. It's gonna come back. I guess I could also brutality that and take a look at my opponent's hand. Okay, so my Pontus Hydrocrest is an island, unfortunately. Yep, probably just gonna cost them nation next turn. And might play Agnes Waking as a land. Ooh, that's interesting. It's actually kind of fun because all my opponent's creatures uh, just are zero zeros when they come back. So I could just get a cost damnation. Maybe I could have attacked first. I don't know. No. And yes, all right. So living there, f it's not great right now, but it could be good later. Okay, that's probably gonna eat Chupacabra because I don't want that to transform. Because that's a card I can't kill with these things. Oh, so this flips on seven, so I have to kill it now. Okay. It's not necessarily that scary. It depends on what Mold has in hand, but oh, interesting. So let's start by attacking. See if Mold wants to trade for Blood Ghost. Okay. The Night Talk Scavenger will now be a creature artifact land for free. Yeah, that's probably better. And, and I don't think my opponent not blocking Blargas means my opponent necessarily has a big play. It could just be such a bad feeling. It's just such a bad value play to block Blargas, you know. Trade for it. So, my opponent could have a big play, but it doesn't have to be that way. Okay. I might be time for... Living death at some point, but we'll see. Hopefully, it's annoying that one gets back to the knees. I don't tangle the way. One still has could this be Aurora's Epiphany? Okay, there it is. Okay, so that's unfortunate. One gets a hit in. I think before living death, I might want to cast Trag Task just to maybe get go for like a, a tree. And this also explains why my opponent didn't block because opponent didn't necessarily have the mana for Alderaan's Epiphany. Okay. Uh, okay, search for Scanta is annoying. 
it's gonna flip pretty soon. Okay. Copter does trade for that, that's true. And trading for that would be kind of gas because I could get it back. We could also just cost drag tusk. I'm not racing very well, but. When I cost living here. Okay, um, okay. Copter. All right, things are looking rough here. I think we're done here. So, what does Living Death do? Actually, Living Death. Alright, let's see here. Let's start by attacking with everything. And I really want my opponent to block Drag Tusk. Okay, that's nice. So now Triggers. So now things are not looking so good because this is going to transform into a la uh, planeswalker. My opponent has search for Oscanta. Maybe I should just concede. This seems like a waste of time to continue. Yeah, I'm not winning this game. Alright, let's not waste time here. Um Maybe Whip can be good. Yeah. Although in that game I didn't have any creatures in my um Graveyard even, so maybe not. Yeah, I don't like Assassin's Trophy. No, it's just... Maybe Collector Brutality is bad. How about I try... Uh, oh, it's too late. It's too late now. I guess I keep this has a lot of potential. 
I'm lacking green, but it has a lot of the cards I want, like Sweepers, Rex Sage. <laughs> yeah. Tangled Whale. Okay. It's not the worst. One problem with this hand is that I'm not pressuring my opponent and I'm not have no way to get the card advantage, so my opponent could just be I don't think I'm casting that. It doesn't seem necessary. I have a lot of time here. Okay. Uh oh, well, it might be time for uh, <laughs> Living Death then. Let's just jump and cast Living Death. It's not going to get any better. So, uh, two for two. I lose two cards, my opponent loses two cards. Unless my opponent has days or force of or force of negation, I guess. A lot of cards. But uh, yeah. And now I have some things to munch on. So I don't think Living Death's gonna get any better than that. Because if I cast Damnation, for example, then Living Death suddenly brings cards back. So this isn't the greatest Living Death deck. But we'll see. I have Treachery sort of under control, but the problem is that if my own has Treachery into a counter spell, I could do that. There's not much I can do though. Maybe I even then can bring back Rex Atrich Academy's Awakening. There's a lot of things I can do, but. <sighs> okay. It's not a big deal because I have scavenging ooze. This is a solid card though. Alright. Hmm. Discarded two lands, okay. Did think about it for some time. What's that? Primal Might. Okay, so um, I guess Champion of Wits can be back on the menu in two turns. One days. That's unfortunate, but it still was kind of a two for one, but not really if this comes back sometime. Then it wasn't a two for one. Hermit is one of the unique times where I'm actually prepared to pay Echo for it. Just beat down. Usually you use Hermit with some combo like Recurring Nightmare, but this time. Turn team with somebody else is paying free life, okay. Okay, Hydro Crisis for four. Okay. Actually, I could bring back Ooze and remove Champion. I think it's the play. Right now the Hermit doesn't do much, so... Do this instead. Oh, that's... Oh, interesting. Uh, still... Hang on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. okay, so let's do this. And then remove this before my opponent plays a seventh land. 
And I don't think it's worth attacking to deal three here. I mean, I have um, the Immortal Sun in my deck. So. We'll see. Uh, now, treachery into a canvas, but could be good. Okay. Garrick, not super great here, I don't think, unless my opponent has something else. But. Four mana. Uh. Oh, there is Immortal Sun, that's very interesting. But I, I kind of smell a counter spell here. It can't be Cryptic Command, but my opponent also had Venser, so let's... Um, cast Chupacabra with like this, and if I'm almost to use Venser on Chupacabra, that's fine by me. Okay. So now I attack with everything, and I can get Garrick down to one. I lose a... Uh, and this is one of the reasons why I didn't want to suicide my saplings. My opponent could now trade Garruk and Hydra Crisis for my Ooze. So my opponent can kill Ooze now, but I don't know if that's even... Okay, I kind of expected this, yeah. Now Garruk goes down to one. My opponent loses Vens or I lose a Sapling. I also have Immortal Sun that shuts off Garrick, but now my opponent can cast an 8 drop, which is unfortunate. Oh well. Huh. And, uh... Oh, interesting. I have Wrecked Sage though. But that's a good card. Still can't have Cryptic Command, but... Soon we get to draw a card here. Okay. That's some value. Hanging her back with Great Hench. <laughs> This is fine though. Um, yeah, I think I need to kill the great change before I do anything else. And this, this, I don't know what this is. <laughs> yeah. Then, I guess I go Chupacabra again. I don't know what this is. <gasps> and, uh, kill Garrick. Pontis at 21, so I have to... Hold off for a round, but I guess I kill a token here, which is fine. Okay, my opponent wanted the one once. Okay. Am I dead to create Rufa? Uh, my opponent might be setting up for create roof, but what are you gonna do? Oh, okay, I see. That's gross. <laughs> oh man. That's uh really bad for me. <laughs> wow. Didn't see that coming. Mm, that's not bad. It blocks everything. But I kind of want to cast Immortal Sun here. 
pump up my team and attack. Because I don't think my opponent has a sweep in those colors. Could be wrong. But... And uh, this is a lot of damage. If my opponent blocks with Edric. Oh, I forgot to pump. Oh, that was a mistake. I should have pumped with Ooze. I can't prevent that from flipping, so. Yes, Cryptic Command buys my opponent a turn. Okay, that's not that bad for me. I was afraid of. I think I saw Blip me on Stone turn, game one. But now my opponent can't cast Cryptic. So. This is looking pretty good. My opponent has five blockers, but. That means my opponent's not drawing any cards. So, uh, this is not so bad for me. And a nice thing, oh, is that Ooze makes my opponent's cost look worse. Because one of the ways this game could end is decking, and uh, Ooze is munching on my opponent's graveyard. Okay. Oh, so now let's see here. I can't really enable this in a meaningful way with Morbid because... Uh, so if I attack with everything then... Um, Frost Titan blocks that, that blocks that, and then it's a lot of chumps. I think... Um, let's start by doing this. And then I can still... Yes. Then I attack with everything. And uh, my opponent needs something here. I wonder if it wasn't better for my opponent to just attack with the top to draw three cards and hope to draw Cryptic Command. I think this was too passive, but I could be wrong. Oh, my opponent is not that okay, but well. Effectively, so I saw Oblivion Stone game one, so I, sh I should probably not play any more cards here. And if that were the case, I probably should have kept more green mana open, so. Okay, well, that was an uh, interesting game. Play another one then. Okay, yeah, fine hand. Only question is on turn two, do I human or brutality? If I human first, I'm less likely to hit something. If I um, brutality first, I might miss. Might wanna wait for a creature. I think I'm gonna human. Against blue, I might be more likely to uh, hit something later. Blue has a lot of spells, and this way I may want to kill something with brutality. Okay, I got rid of Liliana, the last hope. Okay. Okay, like that. <laughs> so, oh, damnation, interesting. I think I'm gonna brutality. But what do I discard? I'm almost thinking like it's malicious affliction. Uh, how many black blue creatures do I really need to kill? Okay, negate, reanimate, grave titan. Okay, well, it's gonna be reanimate, I think, because it's just it's most effective here. And my opponent can't go grave titan into negate in a meaningful way, so I just get rid of reanimate. 
But Shell Look is annoying. It's a really good card, but. So negate Grave Titan in hand and unknown. I have two creatures that can't be negated though. No, oh, by you. Okay. And I really want to draw a lair next turn. Because I want to get these things out before. Oh, nice Whisper is going to get negated, but what are you going to do? I can't just not cast my cards. Yeah. Okay. Copter. Does survive damnation, so if my opponent slams Swamp Grave Titan, I can damnation without losing my Copter. Okay, my opponent did not. Just Rick Sage. I don't think I'm casting that. I know it's a maze, so I don't have to blow up Copter, but I don't think looting is even that good now. I want all my cards. So this Shell Dog might wreck me this game. Okay, Wall of Blossoms is not bad. It's a card that I don't care if it uh, gets killed. Uh. Uh. Okay, so is my opponent slamming Grave Titan here? That's one. So, yeah, okay. Let's hope there is no spell pierce. <laughs> that would be gross. Now I can be Daze. Okay, so now all my opponent has is a shell dock, but that could be great or kind of whatever, depends. And uh, Hermit is 9 damage, Track Tusk is 5, Hermit eats my next turn. Don't know what I'm gonna play. My opponent did not multi kick that for the max, that means a play is coming here. Dread Return, okay. Alright, six mana, huh? Dread return, and that can get flashbacked if Mopal gets attacked with Grey Tide. So, I think I have to go Hermit here. <laughs> okay, well, I still have Living Death in my deck, so I should concede. Should probably also not F6, but whatever. Okay, so I have a couple of more turns which if Trag Tusk comes into play. But Living Death gives me a shot at least. Okay. Okay, and uh, can't really attack with Copter here, so... Now, I'm gonna jump Grave Titan. And, uh, then I can crew Copter with the Beast and hope to draw Living Death, I guess. Don't think there's any other outs. Now Sherlock is online too. Okay, so. Okay. Well, dress means that if I draw a living death. Results, all right, dead. That was brutal. Things really didn't line up. So, Rex Age is good. Whip could actually be kind of sweet. Uh, it seems like a grind fest. And I think Collective Brutality seems weak, though it does get rid of all these counter spells. So maybe it's good. Um, Malicious Affliction seems kind of bad. Though. 
And if I want whip, do I want gray merchant? They are best buddies, right? Yeah, maybe. Kind of like all my cards. Tosca, I think, could be good. Yeah, maybe I don't need Grey Merchant actually. I think it's not necessary. I kind of like this. And I don't think Toxic Deluge is. I mean, no. Okay, okay, okay. Not bad, not bad. I'm leading with Swamp because of Hymn and Bloodcast. Okay, Crypt Breaker. I guess a reason to maybe put in Toxic Deluge. Who knows? Okay, Counter Spell Shinobi, Grave Titan, Shibakara. Okay. So my opponent does not have double blue, so I should. But Negate also can't counter any of my relevant cards. I should just. Don't care about that. Yeah, maybe I want Toxic Deluge after all. Ooh, that's interesting. That is very interesting. I have to be a little bit wary of Fallen Shinobi though. So, I might have to ship a Cabra here. But also Gonti, and then kill the Shinobi on the way back. Yeah, I should probably Gonti here. <laughs> my opponent drew remove soul. Oh my god. Just, uh, and I didn't attack because I want to block Crypt Raker so my opponent doesn't get a free Shinobi hit. This is just. My opponent is playing too many counter spells and is drawing them at the perfect time. I don't think my opponent should play this many counter spells in this deck. Whatever. You got me. So let's hope my opponent doesn't hit something insane. Eh, not the worst for me. I mean, Damnation doesn't do much. And Recognite it goes back to my hand, so. Okay, well. It's not the worst. Now I can ship a Cobra the Grave Titan, and uh, I don't need to see any way for my opponent to get it back. So, um, I can recur Nightmare maybe, I don't know, it's uh, still not great, but, okay, <laughs> come on man, I kind of knew that right though, so, Problem is, living death is not even good anymore. All right, let's see if we can go two on at least. Okay, round number three. Yeah. It's fine, I think. I do rest on turn one. I, um, it's not always something you want to do, but uh, in this hand, I have a lot of things to do, so I might not have time to cast the rest later. Okay, it looks like I'm gonna whiff them. <laughs> And my opponent has containment priest, I have to watch out for that. That was gross. Oh well. 
I think I'm taking out the rest and bringing in Toxic Deluge. Oh, Recurring Nightmare, another card that gets wrecked by Containment Priest. <laughs> but I, I could draw a removal spell. Pons is wasting both our times by attacking. Okay, let's start doing that. Okay, Blood Ghost. <laughs> But I have a Chupacabra now that killed Containment Priest, so things are not looking terrible. But of course, Revelog could get it back at some point, but... This time it makes more sense to attack, because now my opponent gets 1 damage through, so... This attack gives more... More thing, so this... Doesn't affect me right now. It's a 2-3 flyer. Alright, bait blades, guys. Yeah, but still, I think I need to ship a card for the containment priest. It just completely wrecks my game plan. I guess containment priest stops Revelar, but if containment priest isn't dead, my bot is not even getting anything back. And it would be kind of sick if I could get to uh, animate dead Revelar, because I have two cards that come back. All right, so it's block with O4. So. <laughs> Walking Ballista, huh? Okay. That's pretty good against um, the ranged hermit. So, living death, huh? That is spicy. That is spicy. Huh. How about I um, just cost range charm it and see what happens. This and Revelock doesn't even match up that good against Living Death because the cards that comes back from Revelock would have come back anyway, so and Walking Ballista is not great against Living Death either, so I think by Shilling a little bit, I could set up something sweet with Living Death here. Okay. Um. Okay, just jump. Actually, I could jump with. Uh, I think I have some time. I'm gonna jump like this and then hope my opponent commits more stuff to the board. Also, Redain means living death costs seven, so. We'll see. Okay, my opponent didn't even play it. Mm -hmm. So what I think I do is I cast Blood Ghost, cast Recurring Nightmare. Get the hermit back Play land and this way I force my opponent to commit more can't really attack because my opponent shoots this and then just makes good blocks but this way I kind of force my opponent to do something because I'm getting sick value here. All right, this is free free. All right, well, block and I guess block. I 
And this is not even that suspicious because my opponent also have a recurring nightmare, so it makes some sense to block with Chupacabra to get it back. Hmm, this is an interesting game, I think. I'm in good shape, but I have to be a little careful. There are cards like Armageddon in this cube, so I, I can't dart it around forever. At some point I have to pull the trigger. Right now, Living Death would mean I get Wall of Blossoms, Hermit, Chupacabra back, then Chupacabra can eat, contain, and priest. I won't just concede it. Okay, I guess my opponent has nothing against that. So I think the rest sucks, and I want Toxic Deluge. Necrotal could be good. If I see Armageddon next game, I might bring back Duresian. Kind of like most things here. Maybe Tosky is kind of bad. But that's a lot of creatures. Maybe I want just like a Doomblade. Yeah. All right, um, hand is rough, no black, Nightmare doesn't do much. Okay, this is better. All right, let's see here, let's, um, hmm. so I have a combo of Liliana into discarding Hermit into Animate Dead, I think. I'm gonna put a uh, swamp on the bottom and gamble a little bit. Mm -hmm. Not working out so far. But I only need three lads. Okay, there it is. Alright, so him. I could also. Uh, get something insane from my opponent with Animate Dead. Or my opponent could have a Containment Priest, I guess, but then... Okay, so my, I got two good cards, but nothing to reanimate. Okay, well, probably just gonna eat that with Liliana then. Seems pretty good. Then next turn I can go... Um, discard and... Uh, Renmit Hermit or that. If. I don't know. Well, that's good for me. That is an answer to Recurring Nightmare, but it's not the most reliable answer because I can never give my opponent. Uh, what's it called? Uh, priority. Right. Get rid of Hermit and. I really don't see a reason not to just get back Hermit here. Seems like it's gonna be very hard for my opponent to be. Gives me like infinite jump blockers, means opponent probably can't cast uh, Armageddon. Okay, that uh, kills my Liliana. Okay. Fair. That's okay, Liliana did its thing and. Uh, I can wreck sage the mall or just cast Nighthawk Scavenger, which is huge here. Okay, that doesn't matter. Okay, free booter is not good here. I think I attack with three of these. Just cast the scavenger here because. I can wreck Sage next turn. This is a 6 3 flying death touch lively. <laughs> it looks dominated by this, but uh, who knows? Okay, Hex Drinker is at some point gonna be annoying, but I have a lot of turns to Doomblade it, I think. Or no, I don't. Never mind. So, but I think I can raise that, so. My opponent just got it in time to be able to um, 
definitely killing them all here. The hanging back doesn't do anything. And uh, it's attack for six flying lifelink. So unless my opponent finds an answer, seven even. More less uh, artifact. Also, I have damnation. So yeah, this is probably the game. I mean, yeah, this is gonna become protection from everything, but I have a flying eight seven power fly life league. So And I can attack with everything maybe even. And then my opponent is dead, you know. So my opponent can't attack. And uh, if my opponent doesn't attack, I have brutality for the win. Let's just uh, drain and kill. Boom! So we ended up going 2-1. That was fine. I think uh, we got dominated game 2, but this ended up being okay. So thank you for watching.